we talked about the foundations and factors influencing the English thought and culture, the ATC. We mentioned seven factors. First, number one, invasions. Number two, Roman and Greek teachings and philosophies. Number three, religions like Judaism and Christianity. Number four, theories, movements, and revolutions. Number five, media and technology. Number six, geography and location. Number seven, we have contributions of other nations and cultures like the Islamic and Arabic contributions. Then we went to the first part, the first factor, invasions. We talked about the great impact of, la of language on, on thought and culture. So we mentioned that lecture affects thought and culture. Then we discussed the origin and history of English. We talked about the invasion of or, or the Germanic invasions of the 5th century to Britain. They invaded Britain. Then we had some main guidelines dealing about the invasions. We mentioned that Germanic invaders, the Germanic invaders entered Britain on the east and south coasts in the 5th century. Many cultural, social, economic, military, and political events led to the, to the development of English from its Germanic roots. English originated as a common language of West Germanic tribes, Angles, Saxons, and Jets, who invaded and populated Britain. Then I shared with you some information about this interesting diagram. I stressed the point that nowadays we have a variety of English. We have American English, Canadian English, Australian English, British English, Irish English, Scottish English, and Indian English. This diagram clearly shows us the main stages of English. We have Old English, Middle English, and Modern English. Later, we shared this good or interesting figure about the Indo-European Germanic Old Frisian you know, languages affected English from the origin, from the beginning. Then we had Old English, or it's sometimes called Anglo-Saxon. This led us to this stage, Middle English, Early Modern English, Late Modern English, and we have finally English of today. Origin and history of English. I started talking about this aspect just before the end of the third lecture. I mentioned that the old English, we have the invading Germanic tribes spoke similar language, similar languages, which in Britain developed into what we know, we, what we now called Old English. So the tribes, the, the three tribes, the three Germanic tribes spoke similar languages. They brought these languages with them from, as just to clarify here, they brought it with them from Germany, brought their languages with them to Britain. 
Okay, let me go back. Old English did not sound or look like English to today. So it looks different. Look and compare between this text, look at this text, this English modern text, and this old text. Now we can, you can compare between these two. So you can read the text on your left, Old English, Origin and History of English. But how about that? How about that text? Can you read it? I'm afraid that most of us cannot read it. So this is a, a, a clear-cut difference, a concrete difference between Old English and Modern English. Okay, now let's go to Middle English. In 1066, William the Conqueror, the Duke of Normandy, part of modern France, invaded and conquered Ang England. The, the new conquerors called the Normans. The Normans brought with them a kind, a kind of a French. So now we have Germanic, we have Germanic tribes invaded Britain, brought, they brought their languages. Now we have another invasion. This is like, you know, a French invasion. We, ha we, we have Normans. They brought with them a kind of French which became the language of the royal court and the ruling and business classes. So this French language became the language of the elite. Lugat al nukhba the elite. So now this will add to the history and origin of English. We had Old English, Influenced by who? Abdullah, are you with me? So the cameraman is with me now. So we have the Germanic English or the Germanic languages which affected English. And this is called the Old English.